Hey Calvary, thanks for joining us for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. Thankful to have you tuning in wherever you're watching today. And this week we're talking about physical transformation. And there's so many stories of amazing transformations that have taken place that we can celebrate and rejoice in. If you were at church this weekend, you got to see an amazing story of Natalie and the transformation she's experienced. But maybe you're in the place where you hear about this and you wonder why God has not done what you've prayed for or what you've asked about. Maybe you're in a place where there's a physical need you have, but it seems like your prayers have gone unnoticed or unanswered. If so, I want to share a passage with you today. Because in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul opens up about a personal struggle he had. There's a physical need that he had that he called the thorn in his flesh. Listen to what he says. He says, Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this, that it should leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. He says, therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest on me. See, I think sometimes we miss the fact that the removal of suffering in our life is not the only way that God can work and transform our life. Sometimes we can get so focused on trying to get rid of pain, get rid of hardship and get rid of pain that we realize that God can often do far more impactful work in our life through our weaknesses, through our pain, and through our hardships. So today, instead of seeing uh, and seeking to escape the struggle that you're in, be encouraged that God wants to and can show up in your life through that difficulty, and that your weaknesses can be a gateway to seeing His work and His strength and His power in your life. So that as you trust in him, you begin to see his power rest in your life that much more. Hope this encourages you. Hope this gives you a place to find hope, a place to find purpose, to continue through whatever struggle, whatever difficulty, pain, or struggle that you're facing as you learn to trust in the strength of Christ in that situation. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.